Hi everyone, this is Phyllis, Kiwi Scrapper from New Zealand. I'm uh, just here to share just a few small um, Christmas items I've been making or altering um, ready for the festive season, which is really looming upon us now. Um, so, I'll just take these delightful little berries, aren't they gorgeous? I'm going to be hoping to do something with those, apart from hanging them on the tree. I'm not sure what I'm going to do, but... I think they're really cute. Um, okay, so the first thing I did was um, sorry about that, not prepared again. Um, I bought a whole pile of these little, I guess they're drink mats. They're very nice, hard, sturdy cardboard um, from an op shop a few days, well, about three weeks ago actually. Um, I think there's about 12 or 14 of them. Something like that. Quite attractive. Look like Japanese flower arrangements. But anyway, um, at the time I thought they'd, they'd be really good for, for making tags. So that's what I got them for. And I think it was about a dollar for that whole pile. And they're all new. Somebody must have got them and popped them in there. So I made um, this. This is the first one I've tackled, and as you can see, that that's the back, and I've covered it with um, that's the backing of a Christmas paper. So they're quite nice. They're kind of like curved edges, and so I thought they'd be quite good. So that's um, that's that, and I put a frill around it, a tea stain frill. Um, there's a little angel here, which I've sort of laid flat and then curved up the flower so that she's kind of got a little, little bit of height and dimension in her little Victorian pink and white angel um, and the rest is just um, this scroll of music that I did here this was off a, one of the Christmas papers so um, I just rolled that up around a pencil glued it down and popped that in there um, there's a little cabochon here with a music note in it these are three antique handmade pearlized buttons um, Edwardian buttons and they're genuine and I've just popped in some um, flat back pearls there and up here there's a bow of um, seam binding and lace for that corner up there there's a butterfly here and a butterfly down here um, and the rest is like just some sequins there's a little flower there with the bling centre um, yeah that's that. Um, there's a Christmas paper in the background there that's silver and and cream. So that's just there. That's just going to um, the little organza hanger that will just hang up somewhere in in an area that's got those colours in. And there's my phone going in the background. Sorry. Um, I've just recently. <coughs> sorry, the phone's going and my dog's barking. Um. I bought this for my new baby grandson. He'll be, I think he's hes just three months old now. So, um, yeah, I bought that for him. And the label on that was this. So, um, I thought, well, that might make a good template for making some little things for the Christmas tree. So, this is my first attempt at, oops, at that one. And, um... That's just covered with lace. Other bits of lace and some bling and some sequins and a little organza flower there. And the back is just quite plain. So that's that. So I probably will make some more of those because um, they came out quite cute. But this is a little um, little can tea candle light that I got from the op shop. The little doves in it and holly berries and stuff. Um, and I just popped in a pearl there and I popped these I've got to glue one back on actually pop some lace, pop some of those around there just to fancy it up a bit for Christmas and this is um, something I just finished this afternoon it's just a plain little jar that um, I found and um, I popped in some of this lovely fringe lace and it's quite a wide lace so I doubled it over and so some of the points or the curves are here with the fringing and the, these bits have got 
points, if you can understand what I mean. So some bits are pointed and some bits are curved um, because they doubled over. So that was quite good. And this is a cute little Edwardian boy there with a teddy bear in the bath, in the bathtub. And there's just the double um, layer of hard pearlized leaves and pearls. And just a little bit of bling around there. And that's just going to have... Um, That's just going to have a little tea light in it, so it doesn't need to be any fancier than that. That should be quite cute. And then I found um, when I was getting rid of some stuff, or getting packing up some stuff to go take to the op shop, I found these. And now these actually are what they call um, Madeleine tins, and that they belong to my mother in actual fact. And Madeleines were kind of like a sponge little cake that you and um, had jam and cream in them. I can remember my mother using these when I was a child from the in, in the 1950s so they're they're quite vintage um, and I've never wanted to throw them away because of that memory of my mother um, who passed away in um, 1997. And a year later, my father passed away. So these these things are quite precious to me. So, but you know, they're obviously pretty yucky looking. They're all rusty and things like that. So I wondered what I could do with them. So here's what I came up with for the Madeleine tins. Well, just two of them. So there's my first one. And I wanted the actual tin to show through. So I just very roughly brushed over it with um, gesso but you know, just brush strokes so that the um, the tin could be very clearly be seen at the bottom there. Um, yeah, so the tin could be very se seen. Oh, look at that. Oh, I shouldn't have done that, should I? That was a bit of a silly thing to do. I have to start singing now while I'm doing this. No, you don't want to hear me singing Christmas carols. So anyway, there it is. So I... In a paper collection I had, um, I just cut out, it was a six and a half by six and a half pad that I bought a few months ago or weeks ago, and I cut out this little cherub, so that he sort of, and then I um, popped in some chill, some vintage ivory chill in there, and just arranged it how I wanted it, and then I put the little boy standing up, in, the little cherub standing up in there, and put some little um, diamante studs on and some, these are Wild Orchid Craft blue and white roses and just around here there's just um, an old vintage silver and gold sequin braid some little narrow Venice lace down here with some diamante things around so that's just, um, he's just going to stand on the, um, on the table somewhere um, I've got, in my house, I, it's not a neutral house, every room is, is like a different colour that blends in with another room, so I've got a room that's got um, blues in it, so he's going to go in there. And the other one I did, which was actually the first one, he was the second one I did, was this little fellow here. And I wanted to make it look like the cherub was flying above, above the ground, above the earth, one could say, I guess. Um, so I fussy cut him and I fussy cut out a, a dove. And he's carrying, um, as a peace star, he's carrying in, in an envelope a message. Well, I think it's a message of peace for the world. That'd be jolly nice, wouldn't it? And there's another little, um, let's come off there. Have to be stuck back on. There's another little peace dove down here that I just fussy cut and popped in there. Um, again, I treated the tin the same way. I just brush stroked it over with, with uh, roughly with gesso. I put this rose. Um, wedding trim around it. Now I've put the bottom at the same and I've put the chawl but I arranged the chawl a little bit differently in this one because I wanted him higher and to look as I say to look as if he was flying and then to kind of like surround him with blue sort of clouds and silver bling and so that's him. So that's the um, the two of them side by side. And they'll just go somewhere in the blue room. Well, it's sort of a, a teal room, so they'll be fine. Okay, so um, 
Now the, the bigger thing I did this week, and I finished this um, yesterday before I went to work, is I altered this sign. Oh look, this is horrible rusty stuff everywhere. I love this, this has got the bling on. I originally bought this um, this wooden plaque to actually do my name on as, you know, so that I'd have it there at the beginning of videos when I was filming, instead of having to put various things. But it's been sitting around for ages without doing anything with it, so I suddenly looked at it yesterday and I thought, right, that's it. I bought this sign a um, couple of weeks ago, which says Peace, from one of the Christmas heirloom shops. Which um, and that was I thought I knew I was going to do something with it, but I didn't know. And I was just looking, and I thought, right, you know, that's ideal for going on there. So this has got it was gessoed and because it was bare wood, and then it was um, a couple of layers of pink lemonade acrylic paint, and then I put the peace sign on, and it it came with this lovely bit of um, crystal dangly bit down there, and then I added the um, Oh, I put the silver trim all around first, and then I added this bit of um, vintage um, silver. It was all done up as a sort of, a, it was gathered, so I took it all apart, so it became a flat piece. It's uh, it's a trim, but I'm not sure what it is. It, it's a lace of some kind, but it's a, it's got sort of metallic silver through it. So I put that all across there, extending it out that way, and these are two hand flayed, uh, <laughs> excuse me, handmade flowers that I did, oh, before I even started doing this, um, I started doing this, this crafting in August, so I, I've been watching Fiona Jennings videos, and these were some of the flowers I made after watching hers, I got, so that was an old blouse, and that was some vintage lace I had, there's a little silver bling, and there's a little pink bling there, glass bling, and over here is a flower that I made last week um, in a cream lace, lace fabric. This is a f um, an artificial flower that I bought amongst a bunch of them. So I took it apart, got all the yucky plastic bits off it and popped in a flat back pool. I just, they're single flowers, but I made them double. <coughs> Excuse me. Pop that in there. I did put this cream lace around here, which is seen in most of my projects because I've got absolutely meters of yards of this stuff. I think I'm finally coming to the coming near the end of it so you won't see it after a few more projects and you'll be breathing a sigh of relief. But it's very versatile actually because it's a nice gathered and it's cream and it's a crochet lace. And this is a petaloo little purchase flower. Uh, underneath that there's a doily, vintage doily as you can see there. So um, that's what the flower is sitting on. So yeah, I, I was really pleased. I've got to put something actually to, um, which I meant to do today and I've forgotten, put a ribbon for it to hang on. So that's kind of my bigger bit that I've done over the last couple of days. And I'm really pleased with the way it came out. I think that's quite gorgeous. Um, and my hallway is in colours of burgundy. And um, it's kind of burgundy and a, and a rich clotted cream colour. So it's a large Edwardian hallway, so with very high ceilings. So this is this will look nice in there because I've got touches of pink in the decor, in the decor there. So this will be nice near the front door. Okay, so I think that's about it. I've, you know, I've gone all over the place today. I've got blues in the old vintage tins, and I've got these sort of um, pinky apricotty beigey colours in that one. Yeah, so. I've gone all over the place, but as I say, my house has got different rooms, different day, uh, different colours, so I'm just doing bits and pieces as I think of them. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed this, and um, I'll say goodbye, and um, I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.